Hello everyone, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. Press the notification bell to be notified every time I upload on YouTube. So I thought I'd give you guys a heads up, the Root Wrestling training tapings have started today. They haven't got me anything planned specific, but there's not, I don't think there's anything I've got me planned to do, so. So, um. Um. So, um. So they started today and they are on tomorrow and uh, tomorrow as well. And I don't know. I know the tapers have started, but I don't know exactly. So yeah, everyone, the tapers have started yeah, as I mentioned. They start today. I don't know how for how many weeks. I think it was six or eight, something like that, or four, something like that. I can't remember because my memory's not brilliant. So. As you can see in the background, I don't know if you can see her, but this parrot here, I'm pointing at. As you can probably see her, just make out the worst about she is, so. There you go. You can probably just see her. So, yeah. I haven't got, like I said, I haven't got anything planned at all this weekend. At all. Um... So, um, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. If you guys didn't see that Titanic Con and Glory video game trailer I did the other day, go and check it out before this one, before this video. So, um, it would be really appreciated. It got about five, six views. I've had views better than that quite a lot in the past. That video in January, I did in January, the Gameplay W2K20 video, I got about a thousand and some, I can't remember, it was 3.9 at one point, thousand views that, think that Pacific video got. If you haven't already, go and check it out. So, yeah, I'm quite appreciated you guys checking my, um, you guys subscribing, subscribing to my channel. Like I said, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, subscribe. Comment down below what's your favourite video of mine. It can be any. It can be a Titanic videos related, any Titanic videos, or anything like that. So, and um, so as you guys can probably tell, my dad's got um one of them. Face masks, similar ones to Alan Walker wears in his shows. I'll show you guys that, my face mask. Hang on. Yeah, everyone, this is the face mask I was on about. I got it from... What was it? Home Bargains. I quite often, off camera, have it like this when I'm going out. Or, if I'm lucky enough, have it like how Alan Walker has it when he's performing. Which is like this. It's not very often I wear this ma face mask in videos. I don't quite often do it, but. So, yeah. I love you guys so much. You're the best fans in the world. I would not be doing this, what I do now, on a daily basis for you without you guys. So thank you for 87 subscribers and nearly, nearly hit 90. My big, my goal is to hit 100. 100 subscribers, that's my goal. I will work towards it as well. I've had some books as well from a charity shop called Sue Riders. So um, I've had about three books which are related to the World War. There's that one. It's basically ba based on the, the um, as you can see by the front seat. If you want to pull it on camera, it looks like it's written back, back, like, how you guys are seeing it. But it says on the front, to play the fox, another, a novel of fighter pilots in the World War II, as you can probably tell. And then... 
the other one, which is this one, as you can see, Blue Man Fallen, a novel of fighter pilots of World War Two. It's another Frank Bernard one. It's actually quite interesting. It's, it has, it's basically a really interesting book. If you want it, if, if you know a website that, that sells books like related to World War, if you're interested in that, then go to one website that has them. And now this one, my dad picked this out for me, this particular one. It's based on a, the, um, if I'm correct, D-Day. Correct me if I'm wrong. I like the front cover. As you can, if you want to pause it to look at the front cover carefully, then you can. So share this video as well, it mean a lot. So, um, this is amazing. It has all the... I'll show you some of that. This is... This is go, hang on. There you go. If you want to pause it to... I'll read out some of these you guys are seeing. Lifeguards. Blue and Royals. Royal Horse and... A, Artillery, if I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or look it up if I'm wrong. That would really mean a lot. Uh, some of them I have trouble spelling out for some of you that are wondering. Uh, Royal Scots, one as well. There's loads. It's a really interesting book as well. I haven't got much planned, like I said. And uh, so I'm... Um, this book is totally worth buying. I just, my dad came across it. I was very lucky enough to come across it at the charity shop I just mentioned, Sue Riders in Saltash. If you guys are in the Saltash area, you can go over to that. It's just near, just two shops down of Home Bargains. Home Bargains is a fairly new shop, and they are already getting the uh, Christmas decoration sorted and ready out and that, you get the idea. There's, it has on the front for, as you, op as you open the book, it has the lo logos and you get the idea from the ones we're reading out and then it has a particular logo on the front. As you, oh, <laughs> hello guys, as I was saying, as you open the book, it has, it has that that there, you, which you guys can read, R read what they are, it tells you what they are, and you get the idea. As you open it, you have, and I'm just trying to get it, you have that, I'll get a close up so you guys can see it better, you have that. <laughs> And then when you open the page more, you have it saying as you open to the next page for Crown and Country. And then as you open the next page, it says some things in that and info. And then basically it tells you what the index and then the number and you get the idea. And the uh, Royal British thing and that. And so it tells you a lot of info and then it comes to some of the pictures. I'll, sh I'll show you that one, there you go. If you want to pause it to look at the photo, then you can. Unless you can find a photo, unless you can find a photo of the, pi the exact picture upon Google, unless you're lucky enough to come across it. So, um, and then it tells you a info in that. It goes, there's loads, there's loads of, like, in, information in it. I've not had a proper good look at it yet, but it is a really interesting book. For some of you that don't know, my great-great-granddad, in the sun and this is true I'm not even kidding 
So, histo I don't know a whole lot of information about his story, but I do know he fought in the Somme and he got gassed. Me granddad Eric, like other, as well as others, was a vacuee. And his story is so, so fascinating. His, so basically, as uh, there was a, when there was, uh, I wasn't around when my granddad Eric was a vacuee, but I'll try and explain it as a story as best as I can. Um, my granddad Eric was getting evacuated to a safer country and that. He was in, he, so, um, I'm just trying to think. Because as he got evacuated, but he kept running away, and he went back to wherever, I think it was, I can't remember, but. Yeah, as I said about my granddad's story, he kept running away. So eventually they gave up and he stayed in Manchester, so he was there for the the explosions, the bombings, you get the idea. So he passed away about 2008. This was before I even started YouTube. I, there is photos of him. So I do have a pair. Me great great granddad was a vacuee in the war as well, so it was interesting. So yeah, it was. So yeah. If you guys want to know anything else about my granddad Eric, or you want to know what he loved, I will tell you. I'll tell you now. He, if you want to know anything about him, what kind of the person he was, I'll tell you. Mm. That's if you want to know about anything. If there's anything you guys like, um, how do I put it? So, yeah, that was that. So, this is one of the new my dad's dog as well. This one's called Ebony. If you ask her to smile, she will. But I, I feel like one. I won't get in there to do it. So. This is Ebony. She's really cute. This is Chloe's mum. So yeah. So um. So yeah, I, I do watch the um. D Day, documentaries and that, as well. So it was. It's quite interesting. Quite interesting subject to talk about. I've lived down in Cromwell for like 18 years now. That's how long I've been in Cornwall. I'm originally from Wordsley. I don't have much memories from when I was up in Wordsley because I was only a tod I was only little. I was about four when I lived when I was up in the Midlands. I don't have much memories but but the one main one thing I do remember is the Black Country Museum that Adam Hatton went to. I remember the Black Country Museum. That's basically about it. I don't have much memories from when I was up in Wordsley. You get the idea. So I haven't got much plans today. So I'm going to be watching Titanic related videos throughout the rest of the day, so. So, yeah. Ebony's basically sitting on me right now, just looking for, looking straight out the window in the other room. Speaking of birds, this is Coco. Have you, Dad? Through there. Yeah. I'll probably get that off before it comes in. If it's on the floor, it's on the floor. This is Coco. Hello, Coke. Yeah. 
So if you blow a kiss to Coco, she'll blow one back, as you guys could see. She is a beautiful bird. She really is. She's my dad's bird. Here we go. Love you, Dad. Yeah, that's right. This was just bored if you want to drink on it. Okay. Okay. Yep, so Coco can you can get birds like Coco to say anything. She'll say bye bye Coke. What other things she'll what will she say? When you're going out somewhere on that, she wouldn't usually say bye bye Coke, you get the idea. She is a beautiful bird, she really is. Hello Coke. So she is beautiful. Yeah, so. So, yeah, I haven't got much plan. What should. I love Coke. So, yeah, there's some days I just. When I'm. feel like I don't feel like doing anything. I'll just, some days I just like to. Come in here or go in the room. Put relaxing music on and just relax and just, or maybe if I'm I feel like up to that, I usually watch a film. As you guys can see, this is the Jeff Hardy jumper I had about oh, earlier this year, something like that. I had it for my birthday this year, which I turned 22 as well. I am wrestling training. I'm wrestling training Tuesday. Tuesday coming. So it's about it's about six pm till nine pm, and that's about three hours. Three hours. I'm wrestling training for three hours. From the training session starts about six, and it goes until what was it, nine pm. I love wrestling training. This is something I've done for two years now. For some of you that didn't know. And I've got my wrestling my wrestling name sort of picked out. It is called Conomosis. For some of you that don't know, you can probably tell by the Conomosis as it says the title of his channel. So, so you guys may see we'll see Titanic videos come out of here and there. Unexpectedly. When I feel like putting Titanic videos out. Anything related, any news and that. So, um, so yeah, it's, this, this bird's absolutely amazing. She's a beautiful bird. She really is. You can probably hear her. She's, yeah, as you guys can see. Um, So yeah, I don't know when I'll wrestle, but I'll keep keep guys up to date. So I was originally on the beginners class. I was on the beginners class for like two years, and then I went from I've just gone up upper class. I'm on the intermediate class now, so I'm getting better. Some of you that are wondering, I can I know how to take a bump. It is completely different when you're taking a bump on a trampoline. It's uh, basically the ring is it's about a metal frame, and then on top of the metal frame there's the wood, planks of wood, and then on top of that there's the padding, and then you get the rest, the mat as well itself. So um, as as you guys would well have heard earlier in the video. The Reach Wrestling Tapings are starting today. They're calling it Unit 10. So, I don't know if Jason King's in a match. He, I have seen him wrestle. He is absolutely amazing. It's him and Grayson Reeves that are training me. So, so I'm really happy, really excited about becoming a wrestler. But I'll tell you one thing. I will wrestle eventually eventually i will get my opportunity eventually that's what i keep telling myself and so yeah i've got my wrestling theme sorted as you guys would have guessed earlier in 
earlier, I think it was a couple of weeks or so ago, I revealed my wrestling team, which is why I've picked to be my wrestling team. Legendary by Skillet. As you guys may have guessed, I am a Skillet fan. So, yeah. It's actually interesting to listen to their music and plus listen to Ariana Grande music as well. So, yeah. Hello, Coke. Hello, Coke. So, yeah. I am autistic, for some of you that don't know. As you guys can see, that is the dartboard. I'm pointing that. That is my mum's. She is that we watch darts, the darts when they come on. My f when we watch the darts when they're on, my favourite is Peter Wright. He's yeah, he come he comes on with an amazing coloured styled hair on his sides, on his coloured pattern on his side of his hair, and then the other side he has like a snake like pattern. You guys will probably get get what I mean. When you've probably seen him come on, he has night, he has spiky hair coming on with spiky hair, similar to the same spiky hair as Seamus, but not as tall as Seamus as spiky hair as it used to be. He comes on with spiky hair, and sometimes he comes as a different colour every time. And then he has the pattern on the one side of his head and matches trousers. If that makes any sense. So yeah. I think that's basically it. Uh, um. Oh yeah, I did come across some. Time. I do come across a lot of news, a lot of news as well. I don't talk about it often in my videos, my videos. But we'll talk about one news I came across. That I don't. Oh, this probably would have ended by now. But there's a savage team that I've dived down to the wreck, picking up artifacts from the wreck site inside the ship, and that. Basically, reason why he's doing it so you guys can see them, so they're going to take them to the new Titanic Museum's exhibition. You get the idea. So, um, so, um, basically, that's why they're doing it. The so, um, the big piece of the Titanic, if you guys want to see it, you go to Las Vegas. There is a Titanic Museum on Las Vegas, I don't know where it is. But if you want to know, if you know where it is, and if you you want to go there, or you if you know your way about Las Vegas, then you that's you can go there. So, hello, Calc. She's talking away now, as I'm talking to you, to you guys. So, um, hello, Calc. Hello, hello, Calc. So, oh my gosh, TV has been to the Yazak Museum as well. He did a video in it. So, if you haven't already, go and check it out. It's on his, oh my gosh, TV YouTube channel. Well, and there is a, I think I may know a way to find it. Put, oh my gosh, TV Titanic. That video should pop up. You can probably hear Coco squawking in that as I'm talking. If you can just make, mark it out. <laughs> beautiful bird so yeah so yeah how long has it been since Paul Walker's since the act Paul Walker crash so it was 2013 it's done about eight or nine years now if you guys want to guys want to double check how many years pork has been gone I know it's probably what I would say nearly nine because it is anniversary is of the crash is November the 30th I will say it again in case you guys forget November the 30th there if you Go on to Google or microphone thing in the corner if you guys get what I mean. Click that and take to it. When is Porker's anniversary of the crash? It should tell you. I remember Michael Jackson's anniversary from the 
top of my head. June the 25th is Michael Jackson's anniversary. And September, I think it's when, Paul Walker's birthday. I think he turned 40 that year of the crash. So, so um, November the 30th is Paul Walker's anniversary. If you guys want to do something in tribute for him, then you can. It's completely up to you what you do. You should want to put the song See You Again together as your own little tribute video. It's up to you guys. It really is up to you guys. If what you want to do is tribute for him. I'm thinking of doing something for him, but I, I haven't decided yet what. But I'll probably end up singing See You, singing See you Again for him. Well, my own cover of the song. I'm not... Well, I'm going to do that, so if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload as well. As I said in one video, it's Britannic's anniversary in November as well. I can't remember the date, but if you guys want to double check the exact date of the Britannic anniversary, didn't you? I love this parrot, I really do. She's so cute. So, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, push the notification button to be notified every time I upload. You're the best fans in the world. Peace out. <laughs>